Under most normal circumstances, I have considerably better things to do with my time. But Kwame Brown wanted my attention. Well, you got it now. I didn't want to have to do this, but he made me. Look, I don't have a single negative thing to say about Kwame Brown, the person. Nothing personal, never have. And no one out there has been attacking him personally either. That includes Gilbert Arenas, who did not attack him personally. It includes Steven Jackson, who did not attack him personally. It includes Matt Barnes, who he really got personal about, and Matt Barnes never said a word. It doesn't include Charlemagne the God either, nor Dr. Boyce Watkins. He didn't say anything bad about Kwame either. Nor did Michael Wilbon deserve Kwame Brown coming at him. But Kwame Brown's been getting personal with everybody these days, talking a whole bunch of smack, saying we don't support black men. Really? Really? Please. The only negative thing anybody ever said about Kwame Brown is that he couldn't play a lick of basketball. Newsflash! That wasn't a lie! When you put yourself and you put your game out there in the best league in the world, people can comment on it because you're putting your talents on public display. Before I go any further, join me in taking a look at this man. Keep looking. Another drop. Keep going. Keep going. Another one. And did I miss anything? Keep going. Here's another one. This is just with the Charlotte Hornets. All right, keep going. Keep going. The man played for seven different teams. I got put wide open layup. Missed. Keep going. Keep rolling them. Keep rolling. This is Shaq. Keep going. Keep, keep, hey, go ahead, watch this. <laughs> Look at that pass from Steven Jackson, his former teammate. You see? You see that? Here it is again. Another drop. Another air ball in the lane. A layup, an air ball layup. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, getting dunked on by Brooke Lopez. Who can't jump? Look at this right here. Keep going. Keep, keep rolling the tape. Look, look at that pass. First of all, he traveled on the pass before he threw the pass. Keep going. Here we go. Let oh, my Lord. Keep going. Here we go. Thirteen years in the NBA. Seven different teams. And I've got an unlimited bank of bloopers for every stop along the way. That was just a short version. I got 15 minutes. I just showed you one. I got 15, and I was just getting started. Kwame Brown made $63.9 million in the NBA. $63.9 million. And he feels slighted. We're taking stuff out of his pocket. $63.9 million to play like that, averaged 6.6 .6 points per game for his career. As the number one overall pick, that's the second worst career scoring average for a number one pick in the last 49 years. 13 years of playing like that. Making money for himself and of course his family along the way. And he's angry, 13 years. One time he averaged double digits in points. His third year in the league, and the last 10 years, he did it. He never averaged more than seven rebounds per game. In one season, in his entire career, he's seven feet, 270. But you ranting every day on the internet? Out there going after everybody? Talking about people's children, talking about people's relationships, talking about people's family, talking about stuff that ain't got nothing to do with basketball, all because you couldn't play? Where's the mirror?
mirror, Kwame. When you gonna look at you? The basketball player. We ain't talking about you, the man. We ain't talking about you, the father. We ain't talking about you, the son. We're not talking about you, the human being. We're not talking about you as a person. We're not attacking your character. We just said you can't play well enough compared to your contemporaries in the NBA. You were better than me. I was a scrub. See how easy that is to accept? I couldn't play. You had a more successful basketball career than Stephen A. Smith. Congratulations. And you complaining? Talking about folks, you actually went on social media, Kwame Brown, and said you and Kobe Bryant went for 82 points and y'all won the game. That was the game Kobe dropped 81 points. So you scored one point? I got news for you. You didn't even get that right. You scored four points in that game. You were off by three. Couldn't even get that right. And here you are saying, no one noticed what kind of screens you were setting. Screens? You have any idea how embarrassing that sounds? Look, man, no one ever said anything about you, Kwame Brown, personally. Every single comment has been about your game. Nothing personal. I'm not gonna call you a scrub. I'm a roll with my man Jalen Rose and others. Okay, we'll refrain. Keyshawn Johnson, Jay Williams. No scrub, no bust. We're not gonna say that. What we can say is that guess what? Compared to other seven footers who have played in the NBA, you weren't very good. Is that okay? Now I know you're looking for attention, but what does it say? that you're getting more attention in two weeks, ranting all over social media than you've received in your entire 13 year career. But you know what you are? I said it then and I'm gonna say it now because it's true. You're a brother that wasn't that good of a basketball player on the NBA level. That doesn't make us criminals. We get paid to critique the game of basketball. It was going on long before you arrived. It's gonna be going on long after we, you're gone. Long after I'm gone. There's a whole bunch of people, white, black, and otherwise. We ain't just talking about black athletes. We talking about athletes, period, no matter who they are. What's the difference between you and them? Evidently, they can take it, and you can't. I'll say it one more time. You're making more attention for yourself in two weeks going off about people personally than you did in your 13-year career. That's on you, bro. Now go and rant and rave all you want. It don't change the video. It don't change the facts. That lives in infamy. Deal with it, bro. Have a nice life. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.